Hi YouTube. Right, bar cards. Bar cards um, are quite easy. They're a bit easy to play than uh, a lot of people think. Basically, you just want your index finger to cover all of this here. Okay? So, if we go here. Now, what we'll be working with today on this video is um, your standard E bar card. Now, um, an E, just a standard E, there, as you can see, is that. Now, if I take that E up to here and bar card it, that gives us an F. A standard F would just be a little bit different, like that, so it's only bar it out. So for your bar cards, all you're doing is this, and you can play whole songs with bar cards, it's, um, it's no problem at all. Now these bar cards, they are your main cards as we go through the E, e bar cards here. So you see an F there, is the same as the standard F there. Now the G, is the same as an open G there, but it just gives you that little better sound. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you your main E chords in a bar chord form and how they relate to your normal chords. So if we start off with A, a normal open A chord, basic chord, would be... Okay. But if we bar that, that'll be up here. You can see that more fuller sound coming through. So you've got A. There's your normal standard A your A bar chord is. Now if we start off from here we can see you've got there's your G, normal standard and your G bar chord is there. Now the closest open chord, your F, that's probably the closest to your standard bar chord because there's only one note that's changing there. But if we start off from F you can see on the scale you've got F, G, A, B, and then you skip an extra one for that top C, which is the same as the bottom C. You see the difference there when you're playing in a bar chord. So that's basically it, that's your basic bar chord. So you've got your G, open normal standard, which in bar chord form becomes this. Then you've got your next one up, which is your A which is a standard bar chord comes up here now standard B becomes a bar chord B and that's for your basic E bar chords now uh, some, as I say some songs can be uh, made up with that you can sit there and play about I mean if you take um, say a track like Astronomy Demand by uh, Pink Floyd that starts off and it's just um, it's not astronomy <laughs> do mind it's um interstellar overdrive by pink Floyd, <laughs> and that's uh, that, that's basically do, using these bar cards and it's starting up here on the bean screen using the same cards and in the all sorts you can do with them. And um, a lot of cards in here, if you look at a lot of, um, I mean, if you take um, Wild Things for instance, that'd be, uh, that's just using E, a and B and that's all it is all the way through but you improvise on the card so it's um
and they say that's just that's just three cards that's e a and b now why should you do bar cards why if it's easy to just do a standard you no know, you know why not just do them well it sounds a lot better now you see that wild thing there how it's supposed to be played that's e a and b and that's it all the way through now if you were to play them same cards just with your standard basic e a and b they wouldn't sound very good so here it is with the proper bar cards <laughs> to what it sounds like with just the standard open chords. Not very good. So, basically, your index finger there and your chord side, they go up, you just miss it about each time. So you're going up from your F, I mean your standard F's there, so you're only changing the finger there. So you've got F. A, B, and for that top C, you skip an extra one. So there's all sorts of things you can do. You take it from the top C there. And you can bang that into um, any normal chords. But uh, there you go. Oh, that helps you with, uh, with a little getting you started with your bar chords.